Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video I am finally going to be updating my Huda Beauty rankings. I just did a Pat McGrath rankings like around a week, a week and a half ago and I ranked 22 palettes from Pat McGrath total and I just counted the palettes from Huda Beauty that I have and I also have 22. What a freaking coincidence but that means that this video is going to be probably just as long and I'm going to try to make it a little faster so I'm not going to expand as much on my least favorite so that I can save a little bit more time for my most favorite palettes. Okay, I have 22 palettes to tell you about. If you guys like rankings videos, please do not leave without giving this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so Huda Beauty has two formats of palettes that she's released throughout the years. She's got her Obsessions palettes, which are 9 pan eyeshadow palettes, and then she has her 18 pan palettes, which she releases once a year right before the holidays. I actually really like that she doesn't overdo it with the 18 pan palettes. I feel like getting one big palette from Huda every year makes it a special thing rather than having three different launches of that size palette. However, I think that she does launch Obsessions palettes, which are her nine shade eyeshadow palettes more than once a year and whenever she launches those I think they usually come in trios. Okay, another thing to note is that her nine pan eyeshadow palettes are made in China while her 18 pans eyeshadow palettes are made in Italy and that does mean in this case that the formula for these is a lot better than the formula that these come with. Now within the nine hand eyeshadow palettes there's lots of difference in formulation so they're not consistently good there's some that are much better than others formula wise and of course as I'm ranking them I'll tell you in my opinion which ones have the best type of formula within the obsessions palettes and the large palettes as well. I think I got everything out of the way. Of course, all these palettes will be linked down below unless they've been discontinued, in which case I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get started with number 22. And number 22 is this one right here. This is the Huda Beauty Gemstone Obsessions palette. The Obsessions palettes used to come in cardboard packaging. They now come in plastic packaging. This is an older one and these are the colors on the inside right here. As you can see, they are all very metallic shimmer shades. Now I think I'm putting this one last because I, first of all, rarely if ever reach for this one anymore and whenever I did reach for this one in the past it was mostly just to grab like one pop of shade from here because I did like the shimmers that came in it. Now me personally I love opening up a palette and using that palette I don't love having to grab a bunch of different things to create one eye look with. And this right here is a palette for pops of color specifically and not a palette that I would use on its own. That is definitely the main reason that it's ranking last for me. Plus, I feel like Huda, by the way, she is an innovator when it comes to eyeshadow formulas. Like, she always tries to, like, up her game. And so, this very metallic shimmer here was very popular a few years back, but it is quite chunky. And she has gotten so much better with her shimmer formulas that this right here is nowhere near the good formulas that she has right now. At number 21, we have this one right here. This is the Huda Beauty Green Neon Obsessions palette right here. Aesthetically, I absolutely love this palette right here. It's just very attention grabbing. And I did do a look with this one when it first came out and I liked it. But even though I really like it, I don't reach for this color story. These are not colors that I usually wear. I feel like maybe if you love going to like raves or parties, this might be something Something that you reach for but me personally never reach for it however I will say that this palette has some really beautiful duochrome metallic shades especially like this one right here very very beautiful besides the color story not being my favorite one in this one I also have to admit that the bright matte colors that this palette has 
are not the most blendable. You definitely have to go back and build them. They're not the worst, but they just don't have as much pigment as I would want them to have. Anyways, this right here is number 21. I swear I'm trying to not spend too much time on them. Okay, now this one here is my other cardboard packaging one. I think I am done with those after this one. And I actually really like this palette when it came out. I think it has a really beautiful, colorful story. And it was one of the first palettes where I challenged myself to use colors. Um, if you go back to the video I made with this palette, which is still public on my channel, it's from years ago when I had like no subscribers. Anyways, it was challenging and exciting for me to use these very colorful shades because it was so out of my comfort zone back then and this palette got me out of my comfort zone, which is definitely the reason it has a very, very special place in my heart. Um, however, this is just not a color story that I reach for much and I feel like if I'm going for a colorful look, I no longer think of this palette. I have other palettes in my collection that I like better, but it's got, you know, good memories attached to it. <laughs> At number 19, we have this one here. This is the Caramel Brown Obsessions palette from Huda Beauty. And I remember the formulas in this palette being kind of inconsistent. Some of them were patchy, some of them didn't blend as well. Um, this one here that has the huge hole in it, it's like a cream shade. It has the hole in it because I was trying to swatch it and I could not get any pigment out of it. So the hole made me remember how this palette was just like not my favorite, which is the reason that it's more so towards the back. I think the color story is pretty, but the main reason that it's number 19 is because I remember that the shimmers and the mattes in this one were a little bit inconsistent. I wasn't the biggest fan of this formula. So then we have the Chocolate Brown Obsessions from Huda, and this one came out in the same collection as the Caramel one, so it had the same inconsistencies in the formula. I do like the color story of this one a little better, it's a bit more serious. If you focus on these six shades right here, it is an extremely wearable palette, very user-friendly, um, kind of easy to use, but again, the formulas in this one just weren't as good as some other formulas that she has in her collection, therefore I just was not the biggest fan of it and I don't think I've ever reached for um, since I made the video. At number 17, I have this one right here. This is the, I think, Orange Neon Obsessions is what it was called. I really like this color story. It's nice, it's colorful, it's springy slash summery. The shimmers in it are not the most pigmented. Like, you have to work with them a little bit to look really nice and metallic on the eyes, but you can get them there. And the mattes in this one were actually pretty okay. Nothing too upsetting about them. Um, and I don't know, it's like a refreshing color story, so I do really like this one. And it made it to number 17. At number 16, I have this one right here. This is the Purple Haze from Huda Beauty. This one, I was so excited for this palette. When this collection came out, this is the one that I was like, yes, I'm going to like that palette. It was different enough for Huda. The purple matte right here in the corner looked just so delicious. And I mean, the color story is pretty and it is different. So in that sense, I do like it. However, the matte purple shade that I was so excited for was not good. I remember when I tried it, it was like kind of powdery and patchy and it didn't blend the way I wanted it to blend and it just performed kind of weird. I think it must be like a pressed pigment or something. It just wasn't doing it for me. So while I do really like this color story and I do think it's different, the shimmers are good, the rest of the mattes are okay, I just was disappointed at the matte purple right there. But yeah, I don't know. Huda is just kind of hit or miss. You buy the collections and you cross your fingers and you hope for the best. Um, and you know, again, I do like that little nine pan palette, but it could have been better. A collection that I mentioned in my last rankings video from Huda that I took back because it upset me so much that it was so bad was the Pastel Obsessions collection from Huda and um, if I had that one still, which I don't because I just, you know, didn't want anything to do with it, I, I was so upset about it, those three palettes would definitely be 23, 24, and 25 in my rankings because I hated those, especially the Mint Obsessions palette, the worst, the worst. 
Okay, so we're going to take a little pause from the Obsessions palettes to talk about some big palettes because at number 15, I actually have a bigger palette and that is this one right here. This is her original rose gold palette. She reformulated this one since um, and I never got the reformulated version because I had already spent $65 on this color story. I was actually kind of upset that she just reformulated it because she knew that there were inconsistencies in the formula so she made it better which I applaud but at the same time me as a customer who had spent her hard-earned money on the first version of the palette to me it was upsetting however the color story is really beautiful she did put a really nice combination of mattes and metallic shimmers in this one these metallic shimmers right here were an innovation six years ago which i feel like was around the time this palette came out but it's since kind of outdated and she has just improved her formula so much which i totally applaud her for throughout the years that this one is just like not that impressive anymore but i feel like it has a better formula than all of the ones i've mentioned to you so far Plus, it is an 18 pan palette, so you have double the choices as far as the amount of shadows that you get in the palette is concerned. Okay, then I have this one right here. This is the Toffee Brown Obsessions from Huda at number 14. This one here was exciting when it came out because it was one of those palettes that was pretty different for Huda. She hadn't really given us like yellow mustardy shades in a palette before. Um, it has two really beautiful brown matte that you can combine the mustardy shades with and then it comes with really beautiful gold shades. But nothing like extraordinarily special about this palette but the formulation of this one specifically is okay. I was able to make it work and I do like the color story. Okay, so next I have the Sand Haze Obsessions right here. This palette actually has a really beautiful color story. I feel like when it came out, I didn't give it as much credit as it deserved just because this is kind of colors that Huda does all the time. So to me, this one just felt very repetitive. It felt like I already had it, which I mean, I did. But if you don't have the collection that I do as a standalone palette, it is a really beautiful color story. You have nice base colors, transition colors, colors that you can deepen up the outer corner with. That burgundy brown color is beautiful. And it's got some really nice shimmers as well. I feel like this palette is perfect for everyday use. And the formula in the Haze Obsessions palettes, I don't think is the best she's ever done, but it wasn't bad. Um, so I do recommend this one. And so that's the reason it made it to the 13th spot. By the way, always take my rankings with a grain of salt. This is just my personal opinion and my personal experience with these palettes and these formulas. And you have the right to have a very different taste from mine. So, you know, nobody got upset about the placing of the palettes. With that said, at number 12, I have this one right here, which I know, I know this is a favorite, but it's just no longer a favorite of mine, even though at one point I was obsessed with this palette. Um, so this right here is the Desert Dusk palette from Huda Beauty. It is an 18 pan palette, so you do have lots of choices in here. But I feel like, and I've been mentioning this to you in a few videos lately, I used to be all about this color story. I used to love the warms and the reds and the fiery colors for my eyes. And those are just not colors that I reach for all the time. You know, times change and I have changed with the times, I guess, because this is just not the color story that I reach for that often anymore. When this palette came out, those colors were all the rave and I loved this palette. Right now it is in my number 12 spot. I think with this palette, Huda introduced this glitter formula right here, which is like this chunky glitter. Um, I used to put it on with a glitter glue and it looked really beautiful, but that's kind of like another one of those formulas from Huda that was like innovative at the time. But right now, there's so much better on the market. So even though this palette has beautiful formulas and beautiful shimmers in it, I just don't really reach for the super warm color story all that often anymore. And that is the reason why it is currently my number 12 favorite. At number 11, I have this beauty right here. This is the Huda Beauty 
nude obsessions medium the nude obsessions collection from huda beauty i think is to this day still my favorite as a collection yes it is right yes as a collection it is but that doesn't necessarily mean that my favorite obsessions palette is in that collection anyways um this right here is the medium one which is lovely it has some really beautiful crease shades some really beautiful shades that you can darken up the outer corner with the shimmers in this one are absolutely spectacular as well um i really do like this color story i think this palette is useful i feel like it works for so many different skin tones i highly recommend it the formula on the nude obsessions palette collection is amazing this is really good Huda Beauty Obsessions palette formula and from here on every palette I mentioned that is an Obsessions palette has an amazing formula do not doubt it they work great they build great they blend great they are super pigmented and even though they are the cheaper formula for Huda Beauty um, these have great performance so this right here is my number 11 by the way, just like I said in the Pat McGrath video, if you have any questions or you want tutorials on any of these palettes, there are tutorials on every single one of these on my channel somewhere. Let me make sure I'm not lying. I don't think I have a tutorial with this one, but every single other palette that I have in front of me, I've made videos with. So if you want a tutorial or you want to go back and find out my first impressions when I first used it or see the swatches, because I'm not showing you swatches of everything, etc., just go to my YouTube channel and search it up because you will find the information there. So at number 10, we have this one right here. And from now on, I am going to show you some finger swatches of some of my favorite shades. This one is one of her latest releases, the Chameleon palette by Huda Beauty. It has really beautiful packaging. It's nice and colorful. I love that Huda, for the most part, always gives you a really good combination of shimmers and mattes. This palette has some stunning shimmer shades. You can see right here, very, very pigmented jewel toned shimmers that are going to make your eyes pop like crazy and then she also has these stunning matte shades that are very blendable very pigmented that um you can create some stunning looks with in combination with the shimmers i absolutely love every single one of my top 10 palettes and this one is no exception at number nine another palette that came out with that collection this is the wild python palette and this one's got lots of greens i did do a three looks one palette with this one if you're interested i really love every single shimmer that she put in here they are so freaking stunning Ooh, check it out right there this one specifically i i have been obsessed with the teal shimmers lately but just check out all of these these tones are so beautiful you can see how pigmented these are how attention grabbing nice and colorful if you have brown eyes you are going to absolutely love this palette so so much and this is the palette for hazel eyes so if you have hazel eyes and you don't have this palette yet you are missing out girl you're missing out okay so check it out and also let me show you some swatches of the matte shades. This one here, I remember being so pigmented. I loved the peachy color, this brown, this green. I'll swatch them all. Let's do the brown here too. Check it out right there. Look at how bright that green is. And these colors go so well, so well with the shimmery greens in this one. I was not expecting to like the green palette as much as I did from that collection. I thought the green one was going to be my least favorite and it wasn't actually my least favorite. It was like the middle one. I liked it a little bit more than the chameleon one. But they were super close. You can see even in the big rankings video, they are back to back. <laughs> Here is another palette from my favorite Obsessions collection, the Nude Obsessions collection, and this one is the Nude Rich palette. I am a burgundy lover. I absolutely am in love with this color story. I do think I have either uh, two looks, two looks, one palette with this one. And this one isn't further up on my list because there's a very specific look that you can get with this palette and you can't really make anything else out of it it's not as versatile of a palette but i as a burgundy lover i'm obsessed okay <laughs> 
I'm obsessed with the Obsessions palettes. Let me show you the swatches off the mats. I ran out of space on my memory card and I am back like an hour later because um, I had a lot of files to delete from my computer to then delete the files on my camera. Hot ass mess, but um, I was about to swatch the matte shades in this palette for you, so let me go ahead and do that. In fact, I had done it exactly when the camera stopped recording. Alrighty, so check out right here the absolutely stunning matte shades that this palette has. One of the most beautiful combination of light and really dark and intense mattes out of any of the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes, in my opinion. And then it also has these super stunning metallic shimmer shades right here that work so beautifully on the eyelid, also a really nice variety, um, and all shades that go very well with burgundy. This is one of my all-time favorite Obsessions palettes from Huda Beauty. I absolutely love it and I highly recommend it. The formulation of these right here is just to die for, okay? And next I have this one right here. This is the Nude Obsessions Light and this is the most useful little palette. I actually think I like this one better, maybe a couple of others that I mentioned before I technically like better than this one, but I take into account not just like color preference, but like usage, right? And I feel like this is just such an easy palette to use right here. It has a really beautiful um, neutral to cool tone color story. It's nice, it's girly, it's flattering, and it is so easy to use. We have five much lighter mattes in this one, a perfect base. These three here are perfect crease colors, some a little peachier, some a little pinkier, and then this is the darker color right here, which is a really beautiful mid-tone brown. So you're not going to get anything too dark or too smoky with this palette, which I think makes it one of the best everyday palettes in my collection, period. And then come the absolutely stunning shimmer shades that this palette has that of course go very well with all of the mattes that come in it and they make your eyes pop like crazy. The formula, again, in the Nude Obsessions palette specifically is definitely one of my favorite Huda Beauty formulas. At number six, I have this one right here. This was one of my most favorite palettes in my collection at one point, but I feel like, you know, it's gotten a little older. The formulas have been getting better. It is definitely an extremely useful palette. I deduct points based on maybe like not a lot of variety within the shades in this one. Like, you know, you're going to get a nudie pinky look with it every time. Is that one of my favorite? looks to get a nudie pinky look, yes, but it is a very specific look. By the way, in my Pat McGrath video, someone commented on me saying that I didn't like pinks in palettes and then some of my favorite palettes have pinks in them and I know that is a huge contradiction, so let me explain. I was referring to fuchsia pinks, to bright pinks, to like dark in your face types of pinks. I love the light nudie pinks, the mauvey pinks, I absolutely love, um, but I just don't like fuchsia in your face loud pink shades, so I hope that makes sense. Anyways, this is a beautiful palette and this one Huda introduced this like pretty marbled formula that she now has in a lot of her palettes and she also um, gave us a couple of glitters. Now those glitters I just don't reach for ever anymore. I feel like those are a little outdated. Um, they're not as trendy, they're a little messy to use, just I feel like we've moved on from the chunky glitters or maybe it's just me, maybe I just moved on from the chunky glitters, but I don't like those as much as I used to. I used to be all about them. Now from this palette, of course, all of these mattes right here at the bottom row are absolute perfection and the other shimmer colors in this palette are also really stunning. I went ahead and swatched right here some of my favorite matte shades from the palette. These are just very classy colors and I absolutely love them. They go very well together as well. And then take a look right here are the beautiful, super shiny, very spectacular, but at the same time, pretty wearable shimmers that this palette comes with.
I would say the color story in this one is pretty similar to the one that I just mentioned, which was the Nude Obsessions Light. However, this one ranks a little higher just because it's an 18 pan palette, so you get more variety and versatility and more shades in this one. But very, very similar vibes, and I absolutely love them both. Okay, top five, and my fifth most favorite Huda palette is this one here. This is from her newest collection. This is the Wild Jaguar palette. And this was a really different color story for Huda. Really nice and grungy and cool toned. And I absolutely loved it. This has such a good formula. These colors are so nice and so smooth. I did a three looks, one palette with this one. If you guys are interested, that I absolutely loved. Here are the swatches of the four matte shades that come in this palette. We could say that they are very common, but really they're not, especially for Huda. She usually leans more mauvey, pinky, purpley, warm. She hadn't really given us cool tone shades like this one, and I really appreciate the difference and the variety, you know, that she gave us with this palette. And then come these absolutely stunning shades right here, the super sparkly purple and the really beautiful olive green types of shade. I don't know, this palette was different and I think pretty special from Huda. I will say it has one dot and that is this shade down here. Consider it an eight pan palette rather than a nine pan palette, but even with only eight shades, um, I do love it so much that it made it to my top five. At number four, a palette from the Haze Obsessions collection, and this is the Khaki Haze palette. This was also one of those just very different color stories for Huda that made me fall in love with this palette. Plus, I love olive greens. And these are like really nice neutral olive green tones. I do also have a three looks one palette with this one that I absolutely loved creating. Just take a look at the five super buttery matte shades that this palette has in it. These are just so, so freaking stunning. And then these four metallic shades right here are absolutely stunning and you can create some really beautiful looks with this one. And this one being my fourth favorite palette in my collection also makes it my most favorite Obsessions palettes because the top three palettes are all 18 pan eyeshadow palettes. They have a lot more variety in them. Um, and I am all done with the Obsessions palette. This one being my favorite. So let's go on with the next three. And my third most favorite Huda Beauty palette has to be this one right here. This is the Naughty Nudes palette by Huda. And I mean, what is not to love? I told you guys I am obsessed with burgundy shades. This palette has some absolutely stunning mattes. It has some beautiful burgundies and it has the most stunning shimmers. Plus, like I said at the beginning of the video, the 18 pan palettes from Huda are formulated in Italy. The top three that I'm about to mention have the best formulation out of all of the Huda Beauty palettes, in my opinion. And they just blend like a dream. They perform amazingly. They are absolutely worth every single penny, in my opinion. Um, so let me show you some swatches of this one. Just check out how intense these matte shades are. I just, uh, I die for burgundies, okay? Love, love, love this palette. The matte shades in this one are so good. And then let's swatch my favorite shimmers. Just take a look right there. Let's do one more. The red one. Just check these out. Absolutely, absolutely love them. Now, while I love this color story and I am obsessed with burgundies, the one negative thing that this palette has is that it doesn't really give you like a huge variety of color stories or like looks that you can create with it. You, you can either go light brown or burgundy. There is like no in between, right? So because of its kind of more limited color story, it is my third most favorite and falls a little bit behind my top two. Okay, now I don't want anyone to get upset at me about my decision, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you my top two Huda Beauty palettes, which are these right here, the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette and the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette, which this one is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. 
I was trying so hard to pick a favorite for this video. I was able to like kind of rank the rest of them in a position where I felt like they should be based on level of excitement or how much I use them. But I can't make up my mind about these two. I just really, 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 really love them both. I can't tell you which one I like more than the other. I'm going to start by showing you Mercury Retrograde because this one is the oldest. And the pro of this one over this one let me give you my pros and cons on why I can't make up my mind. I just, I feel like I just love them both the same, but the Mercury Retrograde gives you like more color variety over this one. It gives you different looks that you can create with this color story. You can experiment with these colors a little bit more, whereas this one is not as fun per se, but I think because it's not as fun, it's also much more of a everyday palette, a palette that it's more usable, a palette that I am more likely to reach for because I'm basic <laughs> than the Mercury Retrograde, but I think I like the Mercury Retrograde better, but I would use this one more, so I just can't make up my mind. Um, and I can't pick a favorite. Don't ask me to pick a favorite because I can't. I just, they are both beautiful. I love them both. Um, get them both. If you are missing one, get the other one. You are going to love it. Anyways, let me give you some Mercury Retrograde palette swatches. By the way, this purple color right here, you know how hard it is to find a good purple that is that intense and cool tone? And this palette has an amazing one. Oh, I didn't swatch the green. Okay, I have two swatches on my thumb. A green and a peachy shade. And then these are the other matte colors that I die for in this palette. Like I said, it's very hard to find a really good matte cool tone purple like this one. And this palette nailed it. And then um, just check out the other colors right there. Absolutely lovely. Now, when I tell you that Huda Beauty shimmer sparkly shades have gotten better with time, this right here is what I'm referring to. These glittery formulas are so much better than the previous glittery formulas, like from the new Nudes palette or the Desert Dusk palette. These are simply some of the best sparkles. I absolutely love them. Just like check these two colors out specifically. Wow. I cannot. My love for this palette is totally endless. This Huda Beauty formula that Mercury Retrograde has is spectacular. It has a beautiful color story with soft, subtle colors in it that you can combine with the neutrals in the palette to make the most beautiful looks. Definitely check out the five looks one palette I did with this one. It's one of the most watched videos on my channel and with reason. This palette is just so freaking special. And then this one right here, the Rose Quartz palette, which again is what I'm wearing on my eyes today, just came out a few months ago and it has such a beautiful cool tone, mauve -y, pinky, neutral at the same time with like a couple of browns in there color story it's just lovely and just so user friendly and so like you can wear this anywhere anytime at any point and it'll look good with everything you know <laughs> check out some of my favorite mattes that this palette has right there just so nice and user friendly and then the absolutely stunning super metallic shimmery shades right here the one in the center of my eyelid by the way is this one look at how beautiful that looks and then look at these more grungy darker ones i did a five looks one palette with this one as well um, if you want to check it out, I absolutely loved every minute of it because these types of palettes are just so easy to play with, so user-friendly. The formula in them is so, so great and I absolutely love them. Anyways, so the Rose Quartz palette and Mercury Retrograde are my top two palettes from Huda Beauty and I honestly just can't make up my mind. If you want something that you're going to get a lot of use out of, I would go for the Rose Quartz palette because it's just more everyday user-friendly. You don't have to think much about it to combine the shades in this one, but if you like a little bit of color, definitely go for this one. It's natural, it's colorful, but at the same time, not too overpowering or overly colorful per se. Um, and so if you want to dab into color, I would recommend this one, but I just love them both the same. And I just can't pick a favorite, okay? Can't pick one. <laughs> Alrighty, so that was it for today's video. That is my updated Huda Beauty palette 
ranking. I truly hope that you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe before you leave. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you back in tomorrow's video. Bye.